Warning, this video contains a lot of wheat penny finds in two boxes. This will be a 37 minute long video. So grab a snack and enjoy the video that I will be presenting to you. Hello, coin enthusiasts out there. It is I, Dax Collects. As you can see, I have three penny boxes right in front of me here. Or do I? I do not just have three penny boxes right in front of me. I have six of them. Holy cow. Let me know if I'm crazy down in the comments below. I have reached levels of addiction for these penny box hunts. And I'll tell you why. Because... You're never gonna get skunked. There's always something that's hiding inside of these rolls that is worth your while, in my opinion. I have purchased three more penny boxes on Wednesday, November 22nd. So I make it an even six for the video here. So we have six penny boxes right here. We will determine which two of these six penny boxes will be number 40 and number 41 for the channel. But before I do that, pennies to look out for are gonna be the Indian head penny minted between 1859 to 1909, any wheat pennies minted between 1909 to 1958, any 2009 pennies to check for copper and any proofs and anything for the books, as well as any errors and or varieties that I can possibly find inside of these rolls. And that's pretty much it. And if you haven't seen my last penny box video, I'll put the link right up here so you can go ahead and watch that one before you watch this one. And now let's go ahead and figure out which of these six boxes will I open up in this video. And we have our die right here. Since we do have six boxes in this video, we'll range this from crown to six. Crown, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll roll once. And that'll be number 40 for the video. Then we'll roll once again. Then that box will be number 41 for the video. So let's find out what is penny box number 40 for the video. Crown. This one here will be penny box number 40. And what is number 41? Four. So that means this one here will be number 41 for the video. 40. 41 and this box will have to wait once again. I said two penny box videos ago that I was going to open this box up next time and unfortunately it won't be this time. So this one will have to wait even longer. Let's get started with penny box number 40. And now let's go ahead and open this box up and check out those enders. Will we find any wheat penny enders inside of this box? Let's find out together. All right, from the top side, doesn't look like there's gonna be any wheat penny enders, and that's all right. I will check the bottom side as well, on my own, and once I'm done checking all the enders, I'll bring you guys back in, and I'll let you know if I find anything that stand out from the rest. All right, and after thoroughly checking all of the enders, for any surprises, there's gonna be nothing that stands out. So now it is time to go through penny box number 40 and see what I can find inside of these rolls. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Currently on roll number one, wheat penny number one of the box. Let's check out the year and mint of this wheat penny. 1958, minted in Denver. The very last year of the wheat penny ever minted. One year later, they changed the overall design of the reverse to depict the Lincoln Memorial for 50 years. I am still on roll number one, wheat penny number two. Let's take a look at this one. 1944, minted in Philadelphia. The most common wheat penny to find in circulation. Currently on roll number three, Wheat penny number three. 1957, minted in Denver. 
Next roll, roll number four, wheat penny number four. 1948, minted in Denver. Currently on roll number nine, wheat penny number five. We've slowed down a little bit. 1947, minted in Denver. Currently on roll number 12, Canadian penny number one. All right, this one has the tiara obverse design, which means that this is between the years 1965 to 1989. And from the edge alone, I think it is after 1983. Let's take a look. 1986. Currently on roll number 14, wheat penny number six, and Canadian penny number two. This is my second 1947 minted in Denver. And here's Canadian penny number two. 1974 with the tiara obverse design, as you can see. I am still on roll number 14, wheat penny number seven. 1955, minted in Denver. Next roll, roll number 15, wheat penny number eight. Starting to heat up again. 1953, minted in Denver. I am still on roll number 15, wheat penny number nine. Oh boy, four wheat pennies in two rolls. This is my second 1958 minted in Denver. Next roll, roll number 16, wheat penny number 10. Let's check this one out. 1940 minted in Philadelphia. Next roll, roll number 17, wheat penny number 11. This is my second 1957 Minted in Denver. Next roll, roll number 18, Canadian penny number three, and wheat penny number 12. 1964, the final year of the Laureate portrait design. One year later, they changed to the TR obverse. And here's wheat penny number 12. This is my third, 1958, minted in Denver. Next roll, roll number 19, wheat penny number 13 and number 14. Let's take a look at these together. This is my third, 1957, minted in Denver. And here's number 14. 1946, minted in Denver. And these wheat pennies just keep on rolling. Next roll, roll number 20, wheat penny number 15. This is my fourth, 1958, minted in Denver. Took a little break from the wheat pennies, but we're already back in it. Currently on roll number 22, Canadian penny number four and wheat penny number 16. 1973 Canadian penny with the tiara obverse. And here it is. This is my second 1946 minted in Denver. Next roll. Roll number 23, wheat penny number 17. Nineteen fifty one, minted in San Francisco. A fairly uncommon wheat penny to find in circulation. I am still on roll number 23, wheat penny number 18. This is my second 
1948, minted in Denver. Next roll, roll number 24, wheat penny number 19. 1944, minted in Denver. Always look out for D over S whenever you come across this specific wheat penny. Next roll, roll number 25, wheat penny number 20. This was actually an ender. Did not have any idea that this was a wheat penny ender because look at this. I can't even see what year this is from. All right, I've cleaned it just enough to get an actual date. 1956, minted in Denver. The one thing to look out for when you encounter a 1956 Denver is always look out for D above shadow D and the repunch mint mark. Next roll, roll number 26, wheat penny number 21. This is my fourth 1957 minted in Denver. Next roll, roll number 27, wheat penny number 22. And the streak continues. This is my second 1956 minted in Denver. Next roll, roll number 28, wheat penny number 23. This is my third, 1946, minted in Denver. Currently on roll number 31, wheat penny number 24, and Canadian penny number 5. 1951, minted in Denver. All right, another Tiara Obverse design here, 1965. Next roll, roll number 32, wheat penny number 25. This is my second, 1940, minted in Philadelphia. Next roll, roll number 33, Wheat penny number 26. This penny right here is now my oldest wheat penny of the box. 1936, minted in Philadelphia. One thing to look out for is the double die obverse. So as you can see, there's a little illustration there that shows the double die obverse of the 1936 Philadelphia. And there it is, 1936 double die obverse. There's the values for their respective grades. All right, I haven't found anything exciting these past few rolls, but on roll number 40, I found a really old Canadian penny. And this is Canadian penny number six. Take a look at this. This one is King George the sixth. This coin right here was minted between the years 1937 to 1952. Let's take a look at what the year is. 1942. This will be an addition to one of my collection books. Very nice. Next roll, roll number 41, wheat penny number 27 and number 28. 1951, minted in Philadelphia. And here's number 28. 1941, minted in Philadelphia. Next roll, roll number 42, wheat penny number 29. This is my fifth 1957 minted in Denver. Currently on roll number 45, wheat penny number 30. Nineteen fifty-two, minted in Denver. Currently on roll number 50, the final roll of the box. We're gonna end it off with another wheat penny. Wheat penny number 31. 
This is my second 1941 minted in Philadelphia. Let's go ahead and get started with the full box recap of Penny Box number 40 right now. Just finished Penny Box number 40. Let's go ahead and do a full box recap right now. So let's set this aside and let me show you guys what I found inside of this box. And here they are. Let's go over them real quick. I found one wheat penny here from the year 1936, minted in Philadelphia. Found 13 wheat pennies from the 1940s, 17 wheat pennies from the 1950s, 6 Canadian pennies, 7 2009 pennies, and one beautiful copper penny right here. It's just a 1964 Denver. And these are all my finds of the box. There were a plentiful amount of wheat pennies inside of this box, and that's always very nice to see. Always happy with the King George VI Canadian penny as well. Don't come across these very often. This was a very fun box to hunt. Now let's go ahead and bring out penny box number 41 right here, right now. And here it is. Let's go ahead and open this box up and check out those enders. Okay, checking the top side for just a sec here. Not seeing any wee penny enders on the top side, but I'll go ahead and take a look at the bottom side as well, and I'll let you know if I find anything that stand out from the rest. Just finished checking the bottom side, and out of the 50 rolls here, there's only one that stands out from the rest. It's this one right here. This one is a wee penny ender, from the year 1952, minted in San Francisco. So that's nice to see. Now let's go ahead and get started with penny box number 41 and see what I can find inside of these rolls. I'll tell you one thing, there's no way I'm gonna match the last box for wheat pennies, but you never know. 31 wheat pennies is gonna be difficult to beat, but we'll see how many I find inside of this box. So with that being said, let's get right into it. We're off to a great start. Currently on roll number one, wheat penny number one. 1941, minted in Denver. Currently on roll number three, wheat penny number two. 1950, Minted in San Francisco. Oh man, it's heating up pretty quick. Next roll, roll number four, wheat penny number three, and number four. Nineteen forty-five, minted in Philadelphia. Nineteen forty-two. Minted in Philadelphia. Currently on roll number seven, wheat penny number five. And I believe I just found a very, very old wheat penny. Just from this reverse alone, see how it's worn down pretty badly? From that alone, I can tell you it's either going to be from the teens or the 20s. Let's find out. There we go, 1918, minted in Philadelphia. Currently on roll number 10, wheat penny number six. Check this one out, 1939, minted in San Francisco. Next roll, roll number 11, wheat penny number seven. This is my second, 1942, Minted in Philadelphia. Next roll, roll number 12, wheat penny number 8. 1958, minted in Denver. Currently on roll number 14, wheat penny number 9. I managed to find another very old wheat penny. 1919, 
minted in Philadelphia. Currently on roll number 16, wheat penny number 10. Nineteen fifty seven minted in Denver. Next roll, roll number seventeen, wheat penny number eleven. Take a look at that. Nineteen thirty four minted in Philadelphia. This will be an addition to one of my collection books. Very nice. I am still on roll number seventeen. Wheat Penny number 12. This one is the Wheat Penny Ender. 1952, minted in San Francisco. Currently on roll number 22, Wheat Penny number 13 and number 14. This is my second, 1941, minted in Denver. And the other one is just two pennies behind. 1950, minted in Denver. Currently on roll number 26, wheat penny number 15. 1936, minted in Philadelphia. Next roll, roll number 27, Canadian penny number one. 1975 Canadian Penny right here with the tiara obverse. Next roll, roll number 28, Wheat Penny number 16, number 17, and number 18. 1952 Minted in Denver. Number 17. 1956, minted in Denver. And here's number 18. 1939, minted in Philadelphia. Next roll, roll number 29, wheat penny number 19. It's looking like a tight race between which box has the most wheat pennies in this video. This is my second. 1956, minted in Denver. Next roll, roll number 30, wheat penny number 20. 20. This is my second, 1939, minted in Philadelphia. Currently on roll number 32, wheat penny number 21. This is my third, 1942, minted in Philadelphia. Currently on roll number 34, wheat penny number 22. 1941, minted in Philadelphia. Next roll, roll number 35, wheat penny number 23. This is my second, 1941, Minted in Philadelphia. Currently on roll number 38, wheat penny number 24. 1955, minted in Denver. Currently on roll number 42, Canadian penny number 2, and number 3. 1966, what is the obverse design of this Canadian penny? If you said it was the tiara obverse design, you would be correct. This one is from the year 1982. Also with the tiara obverse design. Currently on roll number 47, Canadian penny number 4. 1977 Canadian penny with the tiara obverse design. Next roll, roll number 48, wheat penny number 25. 
Man, we've went through 10 rolls without a single wheat penny. That's rough. This is my third 1956 minted in Denver. Next roll, roll number 49, wheat penny number 26 and number 27. It's gonna be close. Will we hit 30 in two rolls? 1942 minted in Denver. And here's number 27. 1949, minted in Philadelphia. Next roll, roll number 50, wheat penny number 28, and number 29. 1940, minted in San Francisco. Here's number 29. This is my second 1945 minted in Philadelphia. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the full box recap of penny box number 41 right now. Just finished penny box number 41. Let's go ahead and do a full box recap right now. So let's set this aside. And let me show you guys what I found inside this box. And here they are. Let's go over them real quick. I found two wheat pennies from the teens, five wheat pennies from the 1930s, 12 wheat pennies from the 1940s, 10 wheat pennies from the 1950s, four Canadian pennies, and 11 2009 pennies right here. Wow. And now let's go ahead and bring down all the finds of the two boxes and do a two box recap. All right, take a look at that. Found a lot of wheat pennies in these two boxes. It's unbelievable. Ten Canadian pennies as well including a KG6, and that's awesome. 18 2009 pennies right here. And for the 2009s, I found one presidency, six professional life, six formative years, and five birth and early childhood pennies. And there's the one 1964 Denver copper penny that I found in penny box number 40. And there we go. This was an insanely productive two box penny hunt. Never have I found this many wheat pennies in two boxes. That's crazy. I've had one box previously that had a total of 54 wheat pennies inside. This was a lot of fun. Now I'm going to go ahead and start weighing all of these 2009 pennies to check and see if at least one of them is composed of copper. And I'll be right back. None of the 2009 pennies were composed of copper. Now I'm left over with 10 Canadian pennies and 60 wheat pennies, including a beautiful copper penny right here. So now it is time to get started with the collection books. Starting with this right here. Starting with Lincoln Pennies collection book number two. Between the years 1941 to 1974. And this is what it looks like before the two penny boxes in this video. Still have yet to find a 1943 Denver, 1943 San Francisco, and 1954 Philadelphia. Did not find any of those three in this video, so we're just gonna look for upgrades. Let me go ahead and check all these wheat pennies here to see if they will upgrade the ones that are currently in the book. And I'll be right back once I have them ready to plug in to the collection book. And after checking all of the wheat pennies, there will be three upgrades. So since this is already going to be a long video, I'll just plug these in right away. So the wheat pennies that are going to upgrade is this 1941 Philadelphia. Next one is the 1941 Denver. And the last one is the 1951 Philadelphia. So let me go ahead and plug these in to the collection book right now.
All right, I just finished plugging the upgrades for the collection book. These are all the old ones. I'm gonna set them over here for right now. And now after going through penny boxes number 40 and number 41, this is what my Lincoln Pennies collection book number two looks like right now. Happy to find upgrades for the book. Still looking out for three of these wee pennies, but we'll keep on trying. Now let's go ahead and close this book. All right, next up, Lincoln Pennies collection book number one. And as of right now, I have a total of 26 wee pennies inside of this collection book and these are all the ones to check so let me go ahead and check out all of these wheat pennies and i'll be right back once i have them ready to plug in all right i've just finished checking all the wheat pennies for this book the results are we'll have one addition and two upgrades right here so let's start with the addition here is that 1934 Minted in Philadelphia. Let's go ahead and fill it in. That is edition number one. And we'll go ahead and plug in these two wheat pennies and just remove the old ones that are in there right now. So let's go ahead and do that now. These are the old wheat pennies that were in the book. Now they are no longer there. And now after going through penny boxes number 40 and number 41, this is what my Lincoln Pennies collection book number one looks like right now. Now we're up to 27 wheat pennies for this collection book, all found through coin roll hunting. And I'm happy with the two upgrades as well. We'll continue our search for any low mintage wheat pennies that we can find in circulation. Let's go ahead and close this book. All right, I just want to show you guys this one right here, the Canada Small Sense Collection Book number two. I will have no additions and upgrades to this collection book. All the Canadian pennies that I found in these two boxes were all minted before 1989. So this is what it looks like as of right now. Now let's go ahead and close this book. And the final book that we're going to look at in this video is the Canada Small Sense Collection Book number one. These are all the Canadian pennies that I found before the two boxes in this video. Still need a lot of KG6 Canadian pennies and a few Laureate Portrait Canadian pennies. And here are all of the Canadian pennies that I found in this video right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at these now and I'll be right back once I have them ready to plug in. All right, just finished checking all of the Canadian pennies for this book and the results are one edition, three upgrades. So let's go ahead and plug the edition first. 1942, KG6 Canadian Penny right here. Let's go ahead and fill it in. That is edition number one for this book and edition number two overall. And these Canadian pennies here will be the upgrades. So let's plug these in now. These are all the old Canadian pennies that were in the book before, and now they're not. And now after going through penny boxes number 40 and number 41, this is what my Canadian pennies collection book number one looks like right now.
Happy to find another King George VI Canadian penny in circulation. Always fun to find them. We'll keep searching for the rest of these Canadian pennies in the future. Now let's go ahead and close this book. The rest of these Canadian pennies here are going to go inside of this Ziploc bag. Now it's time for the error and variety checking of these wheat pennies and the formative years pennies. There's one thing to look out for, and that's the double thumb. I check the wheat pennies here for DDOs, DDRs, and RPMs. The resource that I use is this website called VarietyVista.com. They have a comprehensive list of pennies on that website, and it shows each and every one of these wheat pennies, and it shows illustrations of what the DDOs and DDRs and RPMs would look like if you encounter them. I always rely on that website for air and variety checking. So now I'll go ahead and check all of these pennies here. And if I find one of them with an air and a variety, I'll let you guys know. And if not, then I'll conclude the video right here. So if you guys like this video, I appreciate it. Leave a like if you want and subscribe if you want as well. As I go through more coin boxes with you guys and see what I can find. This was an absolutely insane two box hunt. Hope you guys have enjoyed this with me. Found a wheat penny for the book, including a Canadian penny, and that's awesome. Let me know in the comments of any wheat pennies or anything older than that that you have in your possession that you would like to share down below. I would love to hear what you guys have in your collection. And now I'm going to go ahead and start signing off. So thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Dax Collects, and I'll catch you guys on the flip. Good luck hunting, everyone. And have a good one. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to check out another video of mine, click on the tab in the bottom left corner.